They must give me the bomb, Nicole. They must harness the atom and splice its power onto mine. Only then can we face the final purchase. Only then the great war to wage and win the last world war to exterminate like gophers the Western Social Democrats and then all the others who are still unbeaten. Only then, only then will I sleep. Just let me out here, please. Leave me here. Central exchange. Can I help? In the next few days in New York, a Soviet agent 
and George Caval will take delivery of a parcel in a radio store on Broadway. Uh, this Listen to me, will you? One day soon, an American contact. Dollar. The phone was near Oskoya Street. By the Gung Department store. Send every available car. Arrest anyone who looks suspicious. All cars, all cars. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. Look, maybe you should call me back. This line keeps breaking up. Just a minute, okay? All cars, all cars. George Caval will be receiving materials to manufacture an atom bomb. Brother, what kind of cap is this? Oh, this is no cap, brother. This is the Mavrino Sharashka. The Sharashka? Now, what does that mean? It means you'll find only the best class of criminals here scientists, mathematicians, engineers. That was Gregorich. Thank you. Dolph, Dolph, Teleprosky, where have you been all this time? <laughs> Tell me, love, what's it like here? Did the guards beat you very badly? Beat you? Here, the guards hold you in their arms and sing you to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> so well. I didn't recognize you. Here, we dine like kings. White bread, 14 ounces. The black bread is out on the table. There's even meat sometimes. Not even the free employees get more. Move along, Nershin and Ruben. Roberts, you're making my head spin. Bread, meat, no beatings. I think we've died and gone to heaven. Oh, no, no, no. You're still in hell. It's just that you've risen to the highest and best circle of hell. As described by the poet Dante, this is the first circle. I don't understand. I'll explain it less poetically. Russia is now a country where most of the intelligent, creative people are in jail. But who will invent the technology to run the state? Ruben, a man who's hungry isn't going to think of much besides food. No! So they have to feed us if they want to pick our brains. From each according to his ability, to each according to his possibility. <laughs> Welcome to Marino, my friends. To Ruben. Shoot. 
still writing a preposterous history of the revolution? You won't find any of this in the official history books, if that's what you mean. You mean our poor Gleb nation has suffered under socialism. Do you really believe that your personal experience is more important than the collective experience of mankind? Your loyalty to Marxism is very impressive. Utterly misguided, but very impressive. Well, that's who I am. Then you put a blindfold on and plug your ears, and you claim to be intelligent. Intelligence, my naive friend, is objectivity. Objective? You? Absolutely. I have never known anyone so lacking in objectivity. Would you please get your head out of the sand? Try to see things in their historical perspective. Read Marx, Lenin, Engels. Above all, read Stalin. Stalin is crap. Are you two still carrying on? Stalin is crude and stupid. His writing is pretentious and condescending and always misses the point. He seriously believes that he is more intelligent than any Russian. Tell him, Andre. Lev. But he is. And we just have to be happy to admire him. Hmm? What do you know about history? You're a mathematician. We scientists have no choice. If you historians can't cope with history anymore, then we'll have to do it for you. I don't believe history would suffer from a little scientific analysis. For some reason, I haven't the slightest desire to work today. Four years at the front and only five in prison, and you're tired already? Serafima! Serafima! Can you get uh, Lev Rubin a paid vacation in a Crimea? Absolutely. You're planning on writing today? Who's going to work on the voice prints? To tell you the truth, I was rather counting on you. What a coincidence, I was counting on you. You know, one of these days, someone is going to ask us what we've been doing for the past two years. I'm not sure we'll have a satisfactory answer. <laughs> I'm not sure that anybody would know or care of voice prints. Yeah. Yes. What's the problem with this? Oh, not again. What is it? Something in the circuit to the switchboard, but I can't locate it. Could you have a look? Sir. Dmitry Alexandrovich, please, turn off your radio. It's impossible to even think in here. Serafima Vitalievna, that's nonsense. How could a normal, healthy woman like yourself not enjoy jazz? I see you've been corrupted by the state. Out of phase again. I have to use force. Hey, who gave you the right? You be quiet. You would drive us all crazy. Can't a person have some freedom in prison? <laughs> Circuit breaker. Here we go. Oh, look at this equipment. Have you got a screwdriver? Oh, yeah. Nothing works in here. Nothing. Look at that eye. The, uh, the door isn't closed. Yes. I'll send him right away. Thank you. Could I Yakanov wants to see you in his office? Do you think he was watching? your big mouth and keep your temper. Good luck, Clive. I'll be right. <laughs> ah, 
You sent for me, Colonel. Yes, Glenn Vikindich. Someone here I want you to meet. Hello, Gleb. Vladimir Rastovich. What are you doing here? Your old mathematics professor has been sent to Marino to systematize our cryptography work. He was delighted to learn that his star student was here. Well, I'll, I'll leave you two to talk over old times, hmm? How long has it been? Oh, since the beginning of the war. My class left before graduation to join up, if you remember. Yes. How long have you been in prison? Five years. Three in the camps, two here. Why were you arrested? For my state of mind, I suppose you could say. You know the Japanese have a law under which a person can be arrested for his unexpressed thoughts? In Japan? But you don't have such a law here? Oh, yes, we do. Called Section 58, Paragraph 10. So, you've joined the Ministry of Security. Why did you leave the university? You were the most respected mathematician there. Well, the Ministry asked for me. Well, you could have got out of it, surely. I suppose. But the salary is double. And I have four children. Look, Gleb, the thing is... I'm forming a new cryptography unit here at Marino. I need mathematicians. Do you know how to make shoes? What? I'm asking you if you can teach me how to make shoes. I don't understand. Well, one day my sentence here will be finished, then I'm off to the tiger to permanent exile. I, I don't know how to work with my hands. If how will I If you successful, you will be freed ahead of your time. The conviction will be removed from your record. <sighs> what makes you think I want that little Oh, no. Let them first admit that it is not right to put people in prison for their way of thinking. And then we will decide whether we will forgive them. Well, gentlemen of science, have we reached an agreement? It's up to you, Colonel. But I consider my work in the acoustic lab to be unfinished. You mean you'd choose that mindless drudgery over a chance to work in your own field? Then I suggest you get back there. Now. Yes! <clears throat> yes, what's happening? We have arrested several suspects. Good. Near the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Excellent. Unfortunately, they were the wrong ones. Oh? They were much too late. You mean to say they've been released? Of course not. Thank God. <laughs> you know, I have been listening to this ridiculous tape of yours. <laughs> are you sure? That, are you sure uh, this is a matter of real consequence? Yeah. I mean, everybody knows we already have the bomb. Hmm? General Abakumov, don't believe everything you are told. Security has reason to believe this phone call has badly impaired our atomic research and that there's a conspiracy. This is an outrage. Why have I not been told this before? Why are you always keeping things from me? Oh, sit down, sit down. Now, you tell me how we're going to find this man. It is obviously someone from the foreign ministry. There are five or six people there who would have had the information. Arrest them all. Six people? It's a big country. No one will be missed. We can't do that, Viktor Semyonovich. We can't. Why not? Because we are talking about a ministry and not a fish processing plant. <laughs> the political consequences would be too great. We have to find out exactly who it was. If it is only five or six people, it would be easy to make a recording of their voices and then compare their voices with the voice on the tape. The caller clearly disguised his voice. Oh, I suppose that means the whole investigation is blocked. Well, I don't see what else we can do for the moment. You don't? No. Uh, Mikhail Dimitrovich. My dear man. I have a meeting with Stalin later tonight. Is that what you want me to say to him? 
Does he know about the phone call? No, no I, I haven't told him. Yet. But he has his own way of finding things out. Do I have to spell it out for you? Clara McCarrigan. Why are you here, Otisla? Isn't your shift over? Well, I could pretend I had a great deal of work to do, but the truth is I came here to be near you. You're teasing me. Yes, of course I am. Well, it's true anyway. Maybe you should find some work to do. Have you ever noticed how often I come to the lab when there's no need? As a matter of fact, I have, Rostislav. Oh, please, uh, call me Ruska. Everyone who likes me does. All right. Ruska, then. And the reason I come in is because I think you're the prettiest, sweetest girl I've ever known. And you've known many, I'm sure. No, not many. I've been in the camps most of the time since I was 19. There's not many girls working as free employees in Siberia. <laughs> Are you really MGB, Clara? Everyone who works in security is MGB. And didn't they warn you about the vicious capitalistic elements you'd meet in this place? Yes. There was some mention of that. And yet here you are talking to a, a vicious criminal. You must be very brave, Clara. You're teasing me again. I admit it. Well, don't. You make me feel like a fool. Well, I'll stop. The last thing I want to do is make you feel bad. Tell me something, Dostis. Ruska. Anything. Ever since I started working here, I've watched you. You're always kind and friendly to everyone. You're the last person I think of as a criminal. But I am, Clara. I'm guilty of the worst crime known in Russia. I suppose you're an axe murderer? No, oh, much worse. I'm guilty of being born poor and without influence. Major Shaikin is looking for you, darling. Are you on duty tomorrow? Only in the morning for a couple of hours. Well, I'll find a time when you're alone. We'll talk. Yes, I want to. voice print that's as distinctive as his fingerprint then this machine could be used to read prints accurately enough to identify them in theory yes but the system is still a little crude for that well what happened you want me to join a new cryptography what did you say i told him to shove it you didn't actually say that <laughs> no. no i was polite enough the colonel wasn't pleased though here. Thank you. It even brought in an old math teacher of mine to butter me up. Who? Vladimir Chelnov. Brilliant mind. Mm, decent man. Seems almost embarrassed to be working with him. You could do worse in cryptography. At least you'd be using your mathematical training. Oh, Seven days a week, 14 hours a day until your brain dies. Nothing left to think with. How would I write? What did Yakimov say when you turned him down? Not much, but I think my days here are numbered. Did he threaten you? No. Not in words. Oh, my dear friend, I hope you're wrong. Couldn't you be a little more diplomatic? There is no diplomatic way of saying no to your boss. Hey, Dimitri, will you wait up? I want to get to the library before it's too late. Of course. You coming, Glad? Yes, it's close, sir. There is no diplomatic way of saying no to your boss. Thank you. 
Yes. I'd like to check the new word list with you. They'll need them for tomorrow morning. I'll catch up. Why did Anton send for you? What happened? What makes you think anything happened? You see it in your face. Well, little one. Seems I'll be leaving soon. I too. Where I came from. The camps. I'll wait for you. You have five years left. I could wait. Very beautiful. Can't remember. It's been so long. I want you. Let's get into the pool. No, not here. Tomorrow may come in. Then when? Sunday night. Be duty officer again. Come during the night. We'll be... Those words will work. Um, I'll, I'll put it into the VIR. That's good. Hello, Grigori. Decided to work tonight after all. Yes, I'm inspired by uh, your example. Come in. You want to see me? Do you think I'm a fool, Dorinian? What do you mean? How long do you think I'm going to keep paying you when there's nothing to show for it? Well, that's not true, Major. I, mean, I told you about the, the free employees in the kitchen defrauding the state by taking food home? Yes, a week after two other sources gave me the same story. So far, you haven't given me anything that I don't already know. Wait. Um, someone sabotaged a, a lathe that was meant for the vacuum lab. Do you know who did it? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find that out. I already have a suspect. Well, your sources are better than mine. So it would seem. I've got something else for you. I saw Gleb Nierjan reading a book of poetry. Poetry? Yes. What's wrong with that? Well, he said that the poet had committed suicide. He slashed his wrists and, and wrote a, a farewell poem in his own blood. Mm, that hardly sounds like the kind of writer that would be on an authorized list. Oh, well, this better pay off, darling. I want results. You remember what I told you about the camps. See what you can do. There's nothing I could do, Mama. Help us. Just help us.
I, I, I was supposed to see... Uh, you called me. Of course. Of course. He's been inspecting you. He's working on a new plan for the country, trying not to stay too long. Not one second longer than absolutely necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. We must all protect him as much as we can, now that this strength isn't what it used to be. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, go in. Ceremony. Just announce yourself. Well, Victor Semyonovich, what news do you have for me? Oh, I'm so happy to be able to tell you, Comrade Stalin, that there is a new development in the plan to assassinate Tito. Uh -huh. We have planted a delayed action bomb aboard his yacht before they set sail for the island of Brioni. <laughs> uh, and his clique, Rankovich and the rest. Oh, they will all be blown together up. <laughs> it uh, should take place uh, no later than spring. <laughs> Good! And Gomulka. Arrested just as you are. <laughs> and the uh, security for party executives. But that's why we exist, <laughs> Comrade Stalin, so that uh, your work will, will not be disturbed. E every day I, I conduct checks, I make arrests. And, uh, you mean there are still instances of terrorism? In a certain percentage of them, I'm afraid, yes. You are right. And that means you still have a job to do in state security. No. Some people, they tell me, no one is dissatisfied anymore. Everyone who votes yes in the election is satisfied. That is political blindness. The ones who are dissatisfied have gone into hiding. Five percent, did you say? Yes, five. Yeah. Seven. Huh? Perhaps. I refuse to be complacent. And the young people? Oh. We must be particularly intolerant towards the faults of the young people. Make a note of that! Yes, 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 sir. We must intensify our watch over the students. We take advantage of the full measure of punishment the law allows. Twenty-five years, not ten, ten, ten. Ten is like going to school, ten. You can give school children ten. But anyone with hair on their face, twenty-five. They're young. They'll survive. <laughs> and be the wiser for it. <laughs> Another thing! It's time to put a stop to the vacation resort conditions and political prisons. Beria tells me that food parcels are still allowed. We put a stop to that. Don't worry, Comrade Stalin. His arm is taken standing. How many times do I have to explain things to you? Monday soon. I will give you back capital punishment. Oh, if only you would. Aren't you afraid you'll be the first one we shoot? If, if I deserve it, of course. If it is necessary. You are right. When you deserve it, we'll shoot you. <laughs> we'll have a great deal of work to do soon. Carry out the same measures as in 1937. Before a great war, great purges are necessary. Well, Victor Semyonovich, do you have 
Anything else you want to tell me? No. No. Nothing. All right, run along. <laughs> Thank you. Come rest the lead. Excuse me. <laughs> the phone call and find out what is going on. What about the Macaregan dinner party tomorrow night? You coming? I doubt it. Why not? Well, for one thing, I don't have a decent suit. Your officer's uniform would be fine. Anyway, what would I do at such a splendid affair? You'll do yourself a lot of good. For one thing, there'll be some very influential people there. I have never been good at sucking up to my better. <laughs> really, Alexei, you must come. I want you to meet someone. Who? Clara Macarigan, the daughter of the prosecutor. I'm thinking of proposing to her. Really? <laughs> Wait till you meet her. She's adorable. Besides, she comes from a very powerful family. That sounds more like you. Well, I will come. You've aroused my curiosity. Excuse me, will you? Hello, Nadia. Hello. Well, have you thought about my request? What request is that? We become lovers. Why do you feel you can talk to me like this? Your husband has been dead for five years, Nadia. You're a young woman. Are you going to mourn him forever? Nikolai, please. I can't promise you anything, but at least we can give each other some warmth and affection. I've got to get back to work. I'll call on you at your dorm tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk some more, all right? Charming woman, who is she? A fellow student, no one of any importance. I thought you were in love. Will Nikolai Shagov be at the dinner party? I think so. Mama invited him. Has he kissed you yet? No. But I expect he will one of these days. He's very attractive. Well, you certainly look like you're in love. Must be in the kente. I'm in the bedroom. Clara's here. There in a minute. How are you two getting along? Like most married couples, I suppose. Resigned. Oh, Dr. Nara. Don't say that. You were so much in love. Well, things change. As I'm sure you'll discover for yourself one day. Hello, darling. What brings you here? Mama wanted me to borrow your silver coffee pot for her dinner party tomorrow night. Shall we have some before you take it? I have to go. The subway will be closing soon. Mm, too bad. Good night, darling. See you tomorrow. Good night, Nara. I'm taking your husband with me. Okay. I'll see you around. We must have a serious talk one of these days, you and I. It's been so long. You'll have first priority when I'm back from Paris. Oh, yes, I'd like that. Pity you're so much younger than I am. If I had waited, I could have married you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure now I would be delighted to hear that. Now, put it on. Oh, please. I hate it. Ah. Mm. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Irina. What do you think, darling, for my parents' dinner party tomorrow? What about the blue dress we bought together? Yanka, it's out of fashion. Come to Paris. You can be as a lot as you want. I don't know. Why don't you just admit that you don't want to come with me? Don't you think it might be better to take a little holiday from each other? Don't know, I 
Do you want a divorce? I have to know where we stand before I leave. Can't we talk about this another time? Good night. Yenka. Mother is absolutely counting on you for tomorrow. Well, I have a few things to settle at the office if I want to leave by Tuesday. But I'll do my best. Thank you, darling. You're a love. It's a beautiful piece of work, Potapov. Do you like it? It's a cigarette case for Gleb. Tomorrow's his birthday. His birthday? Then we must have a party. <laughs> I could make a pudding. If we could find some potatoes and raisins. Someone must have received a parcel. I think I might be able to find some alcohol. Well, lab stuff. <laughs> have they said anything about a New Year's tree yet? Not a word. Those bastards always wait to the last minute. Put a cigarette. Hmm. I have to talk to you. I'm in love. Really? Who is it? Clara, security guard at the lab. Oh, that's good. Good. Take it easy, huh? She's MGB and the daughter of a prosecutor. You better watch what you're saying, Gleb. They are informers if they were. You have no right to say that. I had no choice. I can say he'd send me right back to Vercuda if I didn't cooperate. That's where you belong. Stop, bitch. I've made no secret of the fact that I'm on his payroll, have I? <laughs> I've given him nothing you can use against anyone. Look, just get it. Get it. All right, everyone. Lights out. Oh. Oh. Move on. I'm going to heave my shoe on that blue light bulb. You miss. My feet, how can I miss? I'll bet you tomorrow's chewed food I can hit it. <laughs> out in the bathroom. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. God, how I miss my wife. I'd give anything to hold her in my arms. Why must we live without women? Don't they know it limits our creative abilities? Friends, please, talk about something else, not women. Mm -hmm. What we meet in our diets, that's a socially dangerous subject. My mind's already blacked out. security wants to see me personally can you tell me what yes of course midnight tonight i'll be there oh oh well, what do you think you're doing reading major shaker well you know it's against regulations to be reading after lights out Whoa, 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 not so fast. What's the book? Poems by Yesenin. Who? A Soviet poet. Give me the book. Uh-huh. This isn't on the list of books that prisoners are allowed to read. Yesenin is recognized by the authorities as a valued artist. It isn't on the list. I'm confiscating it. You have no right to take my book. You're entering a complaint? Put it in writing. Reutemann, I have to meet with the minister of Bakamoff at midnight tonight. 
so late. What's wrong? Well, I assume the Institute is being called to account. Now, is there anything happening that I can tell the Minister about? Well, Reuben's making progress with his voice prints. Voice prints? Who cares about voice prints? I disagree, Colonel. It will make a valuable security tool to be able to identify telephone callers by their voices. Well, it's not what Stalin asked for. He wants his telephone voice scrambler. I assume that's what I'm going to be quizzed about. Nothing to report there, Colonel. Well, what am I supposed to tell the Minister? Well, Colonel, we can't achieve dramatic results on demand. They happen to try an error process. Don't lecture me. Maybe there's something wrong with the way you're managing these projects. If you have charges to make, I suggest you make them officially, so I can defend myself. Fort Tolo Prison. I'll arrange it. Thank you. You're very kind, Major. I'll be there. of security is about to have our head. Gentlemen. Who are you? Me. Me? You, you. Huh? <laughs> ah, you are the Mavrino Institute, right? Yes, yes. comrade minister. All right. So how long have you been screwing me around? Two years? You have had 18 months in which to develop a telephone voice scrambler. Where is it? When can I have it? And don't lie to me, I don't like liars. Well, Comrade Minister, Comrade we've... Minister, let me assure you, we're very close to a breakthrough. Indeed, the Mavrino Institute is sparing no effort. <laughs> Where do you think you are? At the, at the meeting of the, of the Presidium or something like that? I asked you, what date? Any day now. But you must understand that the technical difficulties are... Technical difficulties? 
my ass. Shut up, you pig! Who do you think you're playing with? You think you can bullshit me? Please control yourself. Control myself. Uh, I am controlling myself. I... I would like to have you taken to Lubyanka and shot. In fact, I would like to shoot you personally, myself. I want results, you stupid bungler! Not some damn excuses! We'll do it, Comrade Minister, rest assured. And you, what have you to say? It will be done, Comrade Minister. Now, what is going on with this voice print process? Well, Comrade Minister, we're making we found... great strides there too, Comrade Minister, even though voice prints have never been our highest priority. Well, all that's changed now. Voice prints are at the top of the list. I don't understand. You don't? Well, let me tell you what is at stake. Our entire nuclear research program. That's all. Some bastard working with the West has now divulged some important military secrets. Atomic secrets. The traitor. It's too bad the death penalty has been abolished. Who could have done it? Well, some traitor in the foreign ministry. They're the only ones with that information. Whoever it is, uh, we have the bastard on tape, and that's where you come in. I want the traitor identified from his voice. We can do that in the Vrino, Comrade Minister. We'll add as many personnel as we need. We'll mobilize all our resources. Oh, that's the spirit, eh? The interest of the state first and all the rest come later, eh? Right? Exactly right, Comrade Minister. Just exactly right, Comrade Colonel General. <laughs> well, when? And don't try to string me along. Give us a month, Comrade Minister, just one more month. Have you got that? Oscar Lupo? <laughs> I will have your head. Will it be ready? Yes, Comrade General. Uh, Oscar Lupo. <laughs> <clears throat> You bring me the traitor, or I will break you. I will rip off your shoulder boards. I will reduce you to lieutenant. I will send you off to freeze your... in the Arctic forest. <coughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Huh? And as for you, jailbird, obviously six years in prison has taught you nothing. You fail me, I will send you back to Mavrino in a blue uniform to work on the voice process yourself. All right? You got that? Yes, Comrade Minister. Now remember... I didn't make you say it. I can forgive everything but this evil. Now get out. I can't stand the sight of you. Answers damn quick. Or I'll personally make sure you're behind bars again. But it's impossible. You know it's impossible. That's your problem, Yakimov. Don't make it mine. 